Hi, this is Jeremy Quirk. I'm going to show you how you can improve your door stopper significantly so that you won't do damage to your door down there in the corner, your typical corner of your door. And also, I've noticed that sometimes when the door gets shut by accidentally pushing too hard from the other side, it kind of torques the door and makes a loud noise. So this uh, is a really simple solution. It's free. You can always replace it. You can improve upon it yourself if you have ideas. But this is your typical standard door stop right here. Very hard material on the end. It's got a rubber stopper. I agree that that helps a little bit. And then you have, typically you have your corner. Now we did put a piece of felt there for a while. I just haven't taken it off. I'm not going to take it off. There's no need to. So what I do is I got this. One day I decided, I'm going to try a sponge. So I put a sponge behind there, but they're kind of ugly. And then one day I had some extra foam from a packaging, from an Amazon box or something. And I said, hey, let's try this. So I cut it different ways, but I found this was the best solution. It's got a piece of double face tape. I made a T, and I made it taller than, just a little bit, taller than the bottom of this so that when I slide it in, it compresses the foam and it holds it in place. So I push it in, very simple, it takes about, to make one of these might take it, I don't know, less than five minutes. So now that it's in, you can see that I did extend it about an inch past the actual stopper. And there's a reason why, you don't want it to be too close because then you're just doing the same thing. It doesn't compress that far in, but it's extremely soft when you shut the door. So here we go, here's the test. You can see now I'm gonna try and hit it harder. Again, the harder you do this, no matter what you have behind there, you could have some towels or something, you actually are kind of torquing the, the hinges. So just keep that in mind, especially with the hard ones, but it's so quiet. So. This is, you can pick this stuff up anywhere through your own packaging or go over to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever your hardware store and ask them if they have anything like this where their boxes are. Usually they may have some of this there and it is a different type of foam which you could probably use just about anything. Um, this just looks better. We've been using this for about, I don't know, probably a, close to a year now. And I like it so much better. We did it on all of our doors.